What is photosynthesis? All organisms need food for growth and energy. Green plants can prepare their own food, hence they are called autotrophs. Auto means self and trophs means nourishment. And this type of nutrition is called autotrophic nutrition. These plants first form simple soluble carbohydrates that is glucose and later form complex insoluble carbohydrates that is starch in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll with the help of water and carbon dioxide. As this process is carried out in the presence of sunlight, it is known as photosynthesis. Therefore, photosynthesis is the process by which green plants capture solar energy and use it to convert carbon dioxide and water into simple sugars. For preparing food, the plants require the following. Water from soil, carbon dioxide from air, chlorophyll contained in the leaf and energy from sunlight. Photosynthesis The term photosynthesis means combining by light. Photo is equal to light and synthesis is equal to combining. During photosynthesis, water is combined with carbon dioxide in the presence of light and chlorophyll to produce glucose and oxygen. Photosynthesis is represented as follows. Carbon dioxide plus water needs chlorophyll and sunlight to form glucose and oxygen. The entire process gets completed in a series of complex chemical reactions. Photosynthesis occurs in the mesophyll cells of the leaf. These cells contain numerous plastids called chloroplasts. These chloroplasts contain the green pigment called the chlorophyll. This pigment is one of the most important as it absorbs the sunlight which provides energy for the process of photosynthesis. The entire process of photosynthesis occurs inside the chloroplast of the leaf. These cells are more abundant on the upper side of the leaf where they can receive more sunlight. On the lower surface of the leaf are numerous pores called stomata which open into small air cavities inside the leaf. Carbon dioxide from the air diffuses into the leaf through these stomata and reaches the chlorophyll containing cells or chloroplasts. Stomata Singular means stoma. These are tiny openings found mainly on the lower surface of the leaves. These openings are surrounded by a pair of bean-shaped cells called guard cells. The main function of the stomata is to let in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere for photosynthesis and release oxygen. During the day, the guard cells absorb water and the stomata remain open. At night, the water is drawn out of the guard cells and the stomata remain closed. The leaves are adapted to carry out the process of photosynthesis because they have broad, white and flat surfaces to absorb light. Leaves bear minute pores known as stomata on both surfaces to facilitate exchange of gases between the leaf and the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide from the atmosphere also enters into the palisade mesophyll through the stomata. The diffusion of carbon dioxide becomes very easy in each and every cell because of the presence of large intercellular spaces among the cells of the leaf. Palisade mesophyll absorbs maximum light as it is situated just below the upper epidermis. Each cell of the palisade mesophyll contains numerous chloroplasts and the chlorophyll pigments found inside these chloroplasts absorb sunlight. There is a continuous supply of water and minerals in every cell through the extensive network of veins within the leaf's lamina. Water coming from the veins enters the cells by osmosis. Veins also help in the translocation of prepared food to other parts of the plant. The oxygen produced at the end of photosynthesis is released into the atmosphere through stomata. How does photosynthesis occur? All plants have a transport system called vascular system. The vascular system is composed of two types of tissues called xylem and phloem. The xylem transports water and minerals upwards from roots to the leaves. The sunlight falling on the leaf is absorbed by the chlorophyll to provide energy. This energy is used to split water molecule that is H2O into hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions OH-. Subsequently, a series of chemical reactions occur. Oxygen from the hydroxyl ion is released into the air. Hydrogen ions combine with carbon dioxide to form glucose. The phloem transports glucose made in the leaves to other parts of the plant in the form of sucrose. Factors affecting photosynthesis Many factors affect photosynthesis, but the three factors that are most important are carbon dioxide, light and suitable temperature. 
but not higher than 40 degrees centigrade because it slows down and can even stop the enzyme action. All the three factors are independent and each of these factors limits the other. For example, if CO2 is less and the other two are more, there will be less photosynthesis. Similarly, less light will slow down the process even if there is a lot of CO2 and suitable temperature. Similarly, if the temperature is low, there will be less photosynthesis even if sufficient amount of CO2 and sunlight are present. Too much light beyond a certain limit destroys chlorophyll and the process of photosynthesis is adversely affected. The end products of photosynthesis Glucose The sugar that is glucose is either immediately utilized by the cells or stored in the form of insoluble starch. Oxygen Some of the oxygen released may be used in respiration in the leaf cells but the major portion of it is not required, hence diffuses out into the atmosphere through the stomata. In a way, even this oxygen is not a waste because it is a vital gas as all organisms need oxygen for respiration. Utilization of synthesized food and its transportation Food manufactured in the leaf is required for use by all other parts of the plant. Glucose is formed in the leaf very rapidly during photosynthesis and it cannot be transported to other parts with the same rapidity. So several molecules of glucose join together to form insoluble starch for temporary storage in the leaf. At night, the starch is reconverted into soluble sugar. The sugar, in the form of sucrose, is transported in solution through the veins of the leaf and down through the phloem of the stem. In this way, it gets transported to different parts of the plant where it may be reconverted into starch for storage. In most stems and fruits, or it is utilized to produce energy for various functions in the plant. Significance of Photosynthesis Food for all Plants prepare their own food by photosynthesis and the plants in turn are eaten by the animals. Oxygen for respiration All the free oxygen in the atmospheric air is a result of photosynthesis. No animal can survive without oxygen as it is needed for respiration. Even the plants use the same oxygen in the dark for their own respiration.